So, as of me speaking, we have just had the debut of AEW Collision, and we've just had an AEW Dynamite, and because CM Punk was on that show, the elite weren't. Now, of course, the internet has gone right into detective mode and said, well, did Tony Khan do this? Did they not do this? How does Kenny Omega feel about it? What does Young Bucks think? What is CM Punk doing? And never forget, one, we have no idea. We're not backstage. But also, two, I know I always say it, but I'm saying it again. They're human beings. They have thoughts. They have feelings. Let's just hope they're happy and okay and well. So do you think we have to remember that the dynamite in question was in Chicago? So you probably do want to put the punkster on there. And it's why... I think Tony Khan's latest gamble is going to pay off. I said the Y part too early. I just put it at the top. <laughs> Let's go. So anyway, what am I talking about when it comes to a gamble? Well, we all know that CM Punk has now returned to AEW, which means we stand up like the geeks and nerds we are and go, well, what does that mean for the elite? Are they staying? Are they going? Perhaps to the shops? We don't know. And we don't have any concrete results at the moment, but the rumor mill is also telling us that because of all of this, and just in general, Tony Khan is now making a mega play to ensure that Kenny Omega, Hangman Page, and the Young Bucks are being offered bumper new contracts so they will sign it, and not only will they earn a lot of money, they shall stay in AEW for years to come. And yes, I would like this. I think they're very important to the company. So what this would mean is that all of these superstars would be kept under the All Elite Wrestling roof. I think that's what's best for business. Because Punk has already shown that he does bring eyeballs to the product, because ratings especially have taken a little bit of an increase. And when it does come to the Elite, let's not pretend that they weren't pivotal in the creation of AEW, and that they will be pivotal as the weeks and months and years go by. I mean, their influence cannot be understated, and let's not pretend that they're not damn good wrestlers. I mean, Hangman Adam Page is a wonderful babyface, who also has this tremendous depth. You're like, oh my gosh, he's an anxious cowboy. Man, Nick Jackson literally changed the industry they don't have bad matches and when it comes to Kenny Omega well if you want to walk in right now and say Simon I think he's a generational talent I'm totally going to agree with you so you want them in your promotion especially because they've already proved their worth and yes we don't know if this has already happened we don't know if we are being tricked but if somehow all of these guys could get back on the same page and all of a sudden this does culminate in a big feud well, it's going to do absolute gangbusters now personally I can't see it but if everybody is in the same place, well, you always have the potential to do it. Put me in, coach. But you can say whatever you want about work shoots, and don't get me wrong, they essentially kill WCW, and after a while you're like, man, I don't care anymore. But when they do click, our brains can't help it. We totally buy into this, and even when we're walking down the street, we're thinking to ourselves, well, I wonder if that was real, or I wonder if it was fake. There is the other side to this too, though, because if the elite did decide to leave, well, there's only one place I can imagine they would go, and it's called WWE. And I can't see them going to somewhere like New Japan, because that doesn't even mean you've left AEW anymore, because those two have a great relationship. And if they did jump across to World Wrestling Entertainment, pff, horse noises, this would just send the internet into meltdown, and me, myself, and you may never recover. I mean, look at Cody Rhodes. Not only was it just a mega story when he did go back to WWE, but there are a bunch of factors that you can look at and go, that's amazing, he's actually helped surge business. There's other factors as well, like Roman Reigns, obviously the Bloodline story, and the fact that WWE are filling out these stadiums. So some people are like, well, it's such an amazing product, but Cody has to factor into that too. Because when he did switch, some folk, especially the ones that were super fans of him, we're like, oh, well, if he's going to go there, maybe I should go and watch too. And they did. And these may have been lapsed WWE fans, or, and yes, these people do exist, because they had an allegiance to the American Nightmare, well, they go wherever he will go. Now, look, I just think we should support wrestling as a whole and watch as much of it as you can, as long as it entertains you. But let's not act like there isn't tribalism in sports entertainment. And some people will take their flag and they'll put it in the WWE sand or they'll put it in the AEW sand. And that's it. They ain't going nowhere. So if you do have that same mindset with the Bucks, Hangman Adam Page and Kenny Omega, then all of a sudden this could happen again. And because they are top stars, you are going to plant that seed in some people's minds. Oh, well, I knew WWE was the number one company, which means AEW are definitely number two. And there's nothing wrong with being number two, by the way. In fact, being number two is flubbing amazing, especially when we get into the All Elite Wrestling story. But it doesn't matter what kind of promotion you're running, you don't want a bunch of your top guys to all of a sudden leave. So that wouldn't be good at all. I mean, let's go back in time and look at Lex Luger. Now, if you are a little bit younger and you don't know this, he was in WWF, and when the first ever WCW Nitro launched, somebody rang him up and said, oh, Lex, do you want to appear on that show? He did. Nobody knew it was coming. And even though he basically was getting jobbed out in World Wrestling Federation at the time, 
all of a sudden he was a megastar again because nobody could believe it. That's the power it has. And the same thing happened with Scott Hall and Kevin Nash when they made the jump. Once again, there are a bunch of people going, oh, well, if they're going over there, maybe there's something I should go and take a look at. I don't know who this person is, but I don't want to talk to him. Now, it is different today because WWE has already entered this space and they're never going to be caught up. They are Disney, they are Nike, they are Coca-Cola. And as I've told you a thousand times, my mum doesn't call it pro wrestling. My mum calls it WWE. Although actually 50% of the time, she still calls it WWF. So all of Vince McMahon's dreams did come true, but what I'm trying to talk about here doesn't even really tie into status. Because it's all about AEW being the best product it can be, and I think that entails CM Punk, Hangman Adam Page, Kenny Omega, The Young Bucks, and hopefully one day actually working together. And even if it's just not possible because they just can't get it together, it still brings star power to dynamite, star power to collision. It gives you an incredibly deep roster and it starts ticking those boxes when it comes to the different fan bases. So Tony Khan does get them to sign new deals and we can keep everything on track with CM Punk. Well, this could be exactly the boost in the arm that AEW needs. There is a reason that CM Punk could rant or rave and kind of do whatever he wants and gets away with it because he is on that level. But this works the other side too with the elite because they're also of that level. So they can be like, well, we don't want to talk to him. I mean, if I said something like that to the powers that be, they'd be like, Simon, shut the hell up and go and do your job. But the further you get up the mountain, the more opportunities that are presented to you. That's not true of wrestling. Trust me, my friends. That's true of life. And the identity of all of this is really crucial as well because you hear it all the time. Oh, Roman Reigns would never go to AEW. And that's probably true. So you want to make sure that it's accurate going the other way. Because if you do all of a sudden have all elite wrestling life as it just goes to show you don't need to go to WWE. And this is a perfectly acceptable and wonderful place to ply your trade. It's also so good to have options in wrestling because it means the wrestlers get paid more. And never forget that is super duper important. All of this is going to be so fascinating. Because look, regardless what you think, this story ain't done. And I really do hope it does end when we all shake hands and we make some wrestling business out of this. But just to reiterate what I said at the start of the video, more importantly than that, I want their health and mental happiness to be okay. Otherwise they'll be going to work as sad pandas and wrestling is hard enough. We don't need it. And I really do love this nonsense, but if I did think that somebody was properly down in the dumps, I wouldn't be able to enjoy it at all. Hopefully you can put that in your brain as well. Let's stop going on the internet and yelling at these people. Because damn it, they're still human beings. I do believe when we get to 2024, all of this will be sorted out. We will know the lie of the land, which is totally crazy. Because what's happening in 2024? Well, it's time to figure out what's happening with MJF. So if those negotiations go a little bit sour, he too could jump to WWE. If that does happen, we have like a radical situation when they did jump to WCW to WWE. But I would argue that this one is 10 times bigger especially with the current environment, I think it would make everything implode. Also, the other reason it would probably do better is that none of these guys would likely be booked to fall in love with a mob. So I really do respect the fact that Tony Khan is trying to make this work for everybody and he is fighting here because he knows deep down his biggest priority is to present the best wrestling show possible. And you do that with all of the guys that we've been talking about for the last nine minutes. So it's just fingers crossed all around then. It's going to be such an interesting ride. There's going to be good bits, there's going to be bad bits, and there's going to be some bits which you just get so sick about hearing on the internet. But if we can get to the promised land, mark Simon Miller's words, it is going to be absolutely fabu. Now we get to the most important part of the video because I need you to drop me a comment below and let me know. Do you agree with this? Do you want the Elite to go to WWE? And what the flub do you think is going to happen with CM Punk? I really don't know the 100% answer. Also, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Click the video that's on the screen right now, which will be a wide video. Maybe even how Drew McIntyre could debut in AEW. Yes, I did make that damn thing. Make sure you check out whatculture.com, where we'll keep you up to date with all this news. Where's Punk going? Where's Kenny Omega going? We will tell you first. Also, social media. What culture? WWE. Simon316. Come and tell me I'm a moron, and I'll just thrust in your direction. No, I won't. That's illegal. My name is Simon Watt Culture. Thank you very much for joining me as always. I'll say it, even though it will fall on deaf ears. Enjoy wrestling for what it is. Just be kind to one another. Goodbye.